Hey everyone, welcome back to another more with Mara's video. Today is going to be a little bit of a clean with me slash DIY project. We're tackling this garage again. So now since we have our business in our garage, we've run out of storage space. So what I'm gonna do today is add more shelves here. So like these two rows are gonna continue all the way around. We're going to clean all of this up. A lot of these can be taken to storage. This is actually gonna be put up on shelves and just really clean all this back up. Because at one point it was all nice and organized and everything had its place. And now since we have our business in here and it can get messy in here at times when we're trying to just push out a bunch of orders in one day, I just want it to be better organized to better benefit the storage in the garage and to better benefit our business when we're working in here. Like when we're coming to get like boxes. Now the boxes right here are, I try to keep them as organized as possible. So I'm getting rid of this lumber. I'm using this lumber today. And then all of this wasted storage space up here. All of that definitely needs to be taken care of in this video. Also as part of the cleaning part of this video, everything's coming out, everything. Except for the inventory on the shelves and the boxes, Everything's coming out. We're blowing it all out because who knows? Who knows what is underneath most of this stuff? So I got a lot of the things off of the floor here and I gotta wait till Fletcher wakes up from his nap to blow everything out. I'm just gonna get my leaf blower and blow the floor off. And I'm really, really gonna try to only put like the necessity things back on the floor. I'm gonna try to put everything on these shelves. I am going to run this shelf. I'm gonna do two identical ones to this all the way to this other side right here, just to have two more extra shelves and I might even extend it because we have Brittany's car inside the garage sometimes as well. So I might need to maybe go a foot off the wall here and go all the way back. I'm pretty sure I got everything that I need for that. So I guess I'm going to measure everything out, cut it and try to frame it. And before the rain comes, apparently it's supposed to rain today. The UPS guy come by and said, you picked a good day to do a project. It's going to rain. So, Hopefully I can get all this done before the rain comes. that I want to talk to you guys about really quickly is only doing it's such a the support to side the first shelf and then coming back one, in and really adding heavy. that last and board two, because you if can't not, put your hand underneath there to drill everything in. I said you're back. I'm back. You're back in business. I'm back to doing what you're I like back to do. doing projects. Hi. I know I haven't been in this video yet, but I'm here to help Frank. So. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. I love doing projects, you guys, and it's been so long since I've done any projects. Like I told Brittany this morning, I was like, I got caught up on orders. Guess where I'm going? I know, because that's where Frank has been the what, last few months yeah, was working on the laser. And now I can get out here and just, like I was telling you guys this morning, get everything out, yeah. clean it, and build okay. something. Hey, you're actually killing two birds with one stone because not only are you cleaning the garage, you're yes. also doing a project and making more storage because we're running out of space. So, like, <laughs> also mentioned that, like, this morning I was like, oh, you did? Okay. Put, like, well, I, didn't, I just kind of hit on it. Since we have the laser out here, and all of our inventory is out here. All of our storage that we have for the house is no longer storage for the house. It's storage just for work stuff. Right, right. And what this, what I'm doing right here is storage for work. Like I wanna be able to put, and I was saying this a little bit earlier, was putting all the boxes up here, like all the extra boxes that we oh, have right. up here, 
bubble wrap, like move, just move everything down. Right. And that just be cups, just that section right there, and the rest of it is our storage. Right. That way we have enough. And if that's not enough, I'll build um, overhead garage storage. We're approaching some obstacles Technical a little bit. Difficulties. I mean, it wouldn't be a project if we didn't have one obstacle. So, so far. This one, this this shelf was like perfect. You put perfect. that up fast. I yeah. went to go get the kids. I done. came back and the shelf was up here. Um, this one, when I got it down and was looking at everything, the boards, I guess from where they've been Ooh, sitting out here I and like the see. humidity, they're a little they warped. warped. So what I'm having to do is like manipulate it a little bit to where they're almost straight oh. and then I'll have to go back to Lowe's in a little while to get like the same two by four that's right there to be able to prop it up and to level it out. If that so that it's sense. level and straight. Yes. Okay. Because I was just going to leave it open, like this side open because we set other stuff down here. Yeah. But I'm not going to be able to do that because it's warped. Oh, so we won't be able to do that original plan. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to try something. Now, so. are we still doing shelves over here on this side or no? Um, we're just working on this side. So for right now, I want to see how much stuff I can get here because I bought two things of plywood and two two by fours. Mm -hmm. Guess how much that was? How much? $70 <gasps> for two pieces of plywood and two two five. And before two by it would cost how much? Maybe $25, yeah, $30. Nothing. It's double. I looked at the lady and I was like, that's not her. That's not right. So I guess. Not. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. you guys so it's been about five minutes and I've got this one up as well I'm going to make like inside supports for this that way it's not sitting on like the outside but one thing that I'm kind of nervous about maybe I should have offset this like maybe a few inches on the inside if it doesn't turn out right I'll I'll do that it's kind of kind of get in the way right here maybe that's where we set like the laptop when we're working and when I'm sending stuff to the laser so I'm gonna see how it turns out, and if I just have to take this one down and just recut a few boards, I will do that. But we're almost there, and then we'll get this whole entire garage cleaned up and organized so you guys can see it as well. All right, you guys, so I have my two shelves built and I did them this way for a particular reason. I'm gonna spin it around and show you guys how I did the supports. This space right here is utilized for like our shoes and we have stacked a few other things right here, but also when we pull Brittany's car in, it comes a little bit past the wall and I didn't wanna run the chance of hitting the two by four if I would have went this way. So I stacked it inside of here and then staggered the outside one and you guys, I could do a pull up on it and it didn't even budge. We are going to start moving all of this stuff, this, the boxes, get all of these boxes over here off the floor and put all of these up, take those. You guys, y'all know. There are also two boxes like right over there that are full of cups that need to go right where all of that is. So we're gonna make that happen.
All right, you guys, so we are on day two of the garage project. So what I ended up doing yesterday was just moving all of our work stuff over. Like all of our boxes that we use on a regular basis are right here and all the extra ones are on top. I think this whole bottom, this from probably from the corner over is going to be filled with glasses. I also have a bunch of extra glasses in the corner over there that is going to take up the rest of this space right here. But as far as redoing these, I started going through some of the boxes already. What do you think about the progress so far? It's going so, so far so good. I didn't know you were going to be organizing all the containers and <laughs> with all the products and paint and stuff. I didn't know you yeah. could do all that. That was kind of like a surprise on my end too because I really didn't think I was going to do it because the organizing i always leave that up to you i told myself this morning that i was tired of looking at all the extra paint that we had on the floor so these are the ones that i've already went through already i did the paint the paint supplies the gas the garden stuff and then my car care stuff you guys i threw away so much extra stuff nothing in here got threw away but the paint supplies like a lot of stuff got threw out of this and then the paint i'll talk about in just a second i have a few more things i need to put in the paint supplies and the paint uh because this one is still good as far as the car care stuff i typically keep all of it unless it's bad but here you guys the paint all of this paint is either stuff that we don't use anymore or it's bad this is bad we don't have that paint anymore bad bad all of that is bad and then is leftovers from where we had the uh, little flood in our house um but they are empty too. They'll have to go through all of this stuff over here. So I went through almost all of the containers except for the summer one and Brittany's party one. There's also one other party one that I'm also just going to let her go through because I don't want to touch her party stuff. But what I'm going to go ahead and do now since I've got most of the shelves cleared off is start putting stuff back. That way I can get a good idea of how much space I've actually gained and how much stuff I can actually put up on these shelves and get it off of the floor. That was my main goal is getting everything off of the floor except for my pressure washer lawnmower and a few other things that can just sit right here everything else i want to put So Frank has about everything organized and put away on the shelves. This is everything that we have left, which shouldn't take long to do because it's just like a little miscellaneous yeah, stuff that we can. Stuff, extra, yeah. extra stuff that just can be put on the shelf. Right. The uh, smart trike underneath the shelves and then the, uh, the double stroller mm, goes mm -hmm. back in its spot on the other side of the laser. Mm -hmm. Now that like all the boxes and stuff are gone, everything has its spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help Frank out, kind of go behind everything that he's done and wipe everything down. So I need to wipe down the freezer, the refrigerator, the laser, this workbench, and then we're also going to vacuum the mats and get those nice and clean too because there's like wood, dust all over it, dirt and grass. So we're going to get this all nice and clean now.
over here and we're gonna work our way back over there. All of my ladders stayed right here. Golf clubs are still the same. My fire department stuff still the same. We slid this up a little bit. I am still trying my best to be able to work on both of my grandparents' chairs. I might do a little bit of stuff on Instagram while fixing up these chairs, this big rocking chair and then this rocking chair as well. These are very old. We come in, we cleaned the AC unit up for the garage, the freezer, the mini fridge, the laser, but then we added the rest of our shelves. Ride the witch's broom. Broom, like the witch I am. Oh my gosh, now ride the witch's brooms. Squash Satan, kick him in the crotch. Squash Satan, kick him in the crotch. <laughs> Zombies to the right. So we have all of the boxes set up right here. This is where Mainly all of our like shipping supplies are we have a new Additional item right there. That is going to be for our the bids our poly mailers My workbench is still set up the same but with this over here. I can't really open up my toolbox, which is fine Wait, really? Yeah, the top of it, but y'all don't have anything in the top except for like a few things um, but the laptop still sits. We still have enough space for the laptop to sit here. Be careful, not hit our heads. Do what? So we're just gonna have to be careful. Not well, why are you gonna be going like? Well, because we're bending down and like we'll have to be like proper form. We need like a chair to go right here, don't we? Like an extreme rolling like chair, no, like a rolling chair, like a work a stool. Stool, yes. I think we've hit our limit. With storage though, the next step will probably be to have our own actual office space for all of this stuff, the laser of course, inventory, everything. That will probably be the next thing that comes after this. So I think we've hit our max. I think we're... How much we can put in this garage. So technically this is supposed to be the third car garage area and even with the laser out and with the freezer and the mini fridge removed, it's still enough space to put my fusion here, we are officially out of space. Another thing that we need to go through and organize is our storage. You guys thought that this was just all our storage? No. no we actually have a separate storage We have like a 10 by 10 storage unit. Pod or unit that we need to go through and organize. And if you guys would like to see like a future more with Moro's video where we take everything out, literally everything, everything, go through it, figure out what we need to get rid of, what we can probably maybe sell, and then what we can keep and what we need to organize. So let me know if you guys would like to see like an extreme organization video on that. Because that's a lot, you that's guys. Lot. There's That's probably two days worth of stuff, <laughs> at least. But with your magic, you can get it done in a day. My organizational magic. But he's back, projects are back. We just gotta I'm figure excited. out what the next one is gonna be. I think I have one in mind, but in, okay. it is not at our house. Okay. Uh, we're moving to other people's houses. Yes, we're moving to other people's houses instead of ours. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. I've had a lot of my friends say that they want me to come over and organize like their pantry and their house, and I can film it too. So maybe we'll Let's start doing do like Let's a just series. Go to people's houses and yeah, and <laughs> go to other people's house to organize and clean and well, I don't know about cleaning. No, I'm out on camera. I'm, I can do the organization. I thoroughly enjoy doing that. So keep an eye out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will see you in, in the our next, next one. Bye.